All right, y'all. Before we start this video, make sure you guys subscribe, bro. And, bro, I need I need you to subscribe. Like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I need you to go down. Subscribe. No, don't look. Subscribe. Subscribe. I need you to subscribe. So if you if you ain't subscribing, then what are you here for? Subscribe. Alright, what's up? Uh, it's way too early. But uh, before we start this video, make sure you guys subscribe and like because I didn't have to do this. If you guys want a full tutorial for the thumbnail, just say it below and I'll do it. But today we're going to be doing this little recording thing, this viewfinder camcorder viewfinder. Uh, basically all you have to do, if you're already familiar with Photoshop, if you're not get familiar, so now you want to hit Control T. Alright, just make it a little bit smaller yeah a little bit smaller than your regular thumbnail behind you so you want to hit the apply up there you want to go to filter distort spearize zoom out my boy oh here you go then you just want to if you want that zoom you want that zoom but i don't want my size i want like around here hit okay and then you have something like that so you realize you don't want this so let's just do this hit rasterize so it can save so it can please hit, hit that so it can save it because when you zoom out it's gonna look all distorted so uh after you hit rasterize on this layer then you want to hit you want to go down to see where the black is going so i'm not i kind of like screen but I can see the thing let me see what else they got okay I'm going with lighting you ain't gonna see this anyway so I'm gonna just erase it just for fun so hit control T make sure you clicked on this and then you drag it there you go now all we have to do is hit the rid of parts that we don't want like get that arrow part, get these border lines. Now, all you to look up this this little camcorder viewfinder. All you have to do is look up camcorder viewfinder and keep scrolling down until you find this. It's not the same one, but you know I think they got the custom one, but it doesn't matter. The same thing. So now what I want to do, it kind of looks uneven, wobbly. So I just want to fix it. Hit Control T again. So now that I can see it, I can fix it to wherever I want. Just like that. And I'll delete this because I don't need it anymore. And then you should be good. That's how you save your lines. Make sure you guys subscribe and like if you guys want an in-depth tutorial because I have this all saved. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial, make sure you guys subscribe and like. Please hit the notification because when you this drop, man, it's a wrap for the YouTube community. Because man, uh, if you guys want to know how to make all your little logos, thumbnails, and stuff like that, make sure you guys subscribe. This is a channel for you. All right, peace, y'all.